What's up everyone and welcome back to Gamer Zing. This is your captain speaking and we're going to talk about a game that you should own. And that game is Blaze Rush. Blaze Rush is up to, I want to say, eight players online if you can manage that. But telling you what, with just four people, that's all you need. Hell, by yourself, you're going to have a hell of a time. This is the campaign. These are all the different levels and objectives to do in order to progress into the game. There is a lot to go through all these different missions. You can do career mode or party mode. Party mode is whenever you have people to play alongside you here at the house or if you have people online that you can ask to join with you. I'm just going to go to career mode and I'm going to show you some of the uh, games that are in here. We'll do King of the Hill mode. Now King of the Hill is pretty much what you've also seen a lot of the games but this one might be a little bit different. Uh, whereas basically in order to win you have to remain in first place for the most time than anybody else and the first person to reach 50 seconds in first place is the victor. I have all the vehicles unlocked. You won't have all these whenever you first start the game. I want to say you'll eventually unlock five or six throughout the campaign. You got three major stats that you got to look at whenever you are wanting to join and that is mass, acceleration, and handleability. And all three of these stats do matter according to how you feel this level or whom you're playing against should be played. I've seen a review that this guy did in this video, or this game I mean, and he said that these stats really don't matter, they're all the same. That's bullshit. If I wanted to get it to where no one could knock me off, I would just get this guy right here. This guy is very difficult to knock off the track. I want to try to remain in front the most, so I'm going to try to do UFO. This guy turns on a dime. He has no mass. And the way you control this game is just by your joystick. Whatever direction I push my joystick in, as you can see out here, that's what direction my vehicle will go. I mean, you could turn around on a dime, depending on if you have a lot of mass. You pick up objects, it's like Mario Kart from a different perspective. So, right now I am not, I'm gonna grab this item, and I'm gonna shoot it at that guy in front of me. Shoot it, ah, oh, missed. And you can hurt yourself, without a doubt. Oh, he's got a machine gun. Oh god. Oh no! Oh no! I'm still good. 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 Okay, go. Out of fucker out of the way! Yeah, get him! He's still there. Yeah, who's in first place now, bitches? Mmm, me, the UFO. They got buzz saws, they could hit me at any time, but they're not. Sometimes the AI is oh god. Sometimes the AI is like ridiculously hard! Oh you bitches! You will lose friends on this game. Turbo! Because the primary objective is to fuck over everybody else. There is no like, oh shit. Ha! Recovered. Because the, that's the objective, is to fuck over everybody else so they cannot win. Oh, uh, that thing's gonna hit me, probably not. And I'm like owning this race right now. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And sometimes you can even do a really smooth maneuver by turning around and hitting people and turning back around. I'm gonna win this damn thing. I'm gonna win it. Oh god. Oh no! No! Still in the lead! Still in the lead! Oh! <laughs> Bitches! Who wins? Me. That was a relatively easy one. Usually it's a struggle. Like they have like all the, the rage and just want to beat me down. This is probably gonna be your favorite mode of this game. So basically, I'm gonna let you see what's gonna happen here. This is called Death Race. The objective on this one is to remain in first place, like King of the Hill, but with a twist. Yeah, you can see now that we're starting to see a big bulldozer behind us. Turbo! That's gonna keep getting faster and faster, and the faster I go in front of everybody else, the faster that bulldozer's gonna go and start killing off the players. And once you die, you don't come back until everyone else is dead except for the first person. Let's say, there's one down. Oh god, oh, all right, that guy's off. Oh, he's got turbo, you better not, better, okay, good. Now, since I got first place, I start out in the back end of the line, but since I had the UFO, I can get up here pretty quick. Oh. Turbos. Oh, get out of my way. Arr, sucker. Go, 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 gadget, go. Yes. 
I got my machine gun now. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, <laughs> sucker! <gasps> no, no! Go, 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 go. Okay, good. Ah, <laughs> yes! You have multiple weapons. I have yet to pick up a different one than I usually. Get out of the way! I need another turbo. I need to go. I need to go. I need that. Ugh! I missed! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Buzz saws. Buzz saws. Oh! Son of a bitch! So I died. Now it's up to the AI. Now, this is just with four, five people on the track. Now, you can have up to eight, I said, and it gets ridiculous with eight people because you got people all over grabbing all the items and sometimes you can't pick up a single damn item because there's so many cars on the road and they're grabbing everything all the items just fall randomly out of the sky turbo you have like three different types of turbos and like five or so different types of weapons I think you probably have seen every one that there is except for the slime I haven't seen a slime one yet slime one will slow down people including yourself if you uh, hit it wrong Go, 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 go. I'm not paying attention. Oh, shit. Good. Recovery. Sweet. Yes. All right. So, as you can see, my points are now at 13 on the left side of the screen. Once I hit 15, and at the end of that round, that makes me the victor. Ugh, sucker. Duh, you bitches. Oh, my God. I can't seem to get in front of this asshole. Oh, uh, no. Uh, cut the corner sharp here. Turbo! Yes! And a machine gun. Alright, oh god. Random bullets almost hit me. Oh, I'm owning face. One of the tricky things about this game is learning how to control your car. It, there's a little bit of a learning curve because a lot of people aren't used to the, just using a joystick and how you drive, whatever direction. But as long as you remember, whatever direction the track goes, that's the direction of your joystick that needs to go. So if I need to go left, I go on my joystick to the left. If I'm going down on the screen, I go down. But once you learn it, it's it's it just comes natural. Let's do sticky goo. This one is probably just going to be a race with nothing but slimes. Out of the way and turbos. Now if you get slimed, you can be unslimed with a turbo. So if like, I get stuck, I'm gonna slime this guy. Uh, slow his ass down. That's another thing I wanted to comment on is the music. Get out of my way! Oh shit! Woo! The music on this game is so awesome. It's gonna get you pumped up and like just shit! God! Yeah, anyways, the music is awesome. And this game is so freaking intense right now. I can't seem to turbo. Ugh, slow your ass down. Oh god. Oh, I ran right into that bitch and I turned around. Ah, oh, god, slime again. Turbo again. Out of the way. Coming through. Oh, I missed that slime. Uh, last lap. All right. Stay ahead. Stay ahead. Oh no, they're coming up fast. They are coming up fast. You got a map down there in the bottom of the screen too that you can justify where you're gonna go next to kind of anticipate what's gonna happen next. Oh! Oh, he's coming up fast. He's coming up fast. He's coming up fast. No, oh, don't you slime me. Don't you fucking slime me. All right, Blaze Rush. Currently on Steam is $9.99. Well worth the buy, guys, especially since you can get with your friends over here at the house. I'm telling you, it is definitely one of those games where there will be cursing. There will be controllers probably thrown at the people that are beating the crap out of you. Or it's just one of those things that's just casually just fun to sit down and play a couple of rounds and get further on the campaign. It's great. The AI can be turned up to be really difficult or down to really stupid easy. So it's for any almost all age groups. My son, he plays it, he loves it. Um, Mike, I think we're probably going to be playing it tonight whenever my friends come over and stuff, so we'll play this game for sure. It is a hoot. Uh, well worth the buy. If you can get it on sale for cheaper, then even more props to you, but it's currently at least on Steam. I don't know what it costs on PlayStation 4. Sorry, PC Master Race. But if you can get it on PC for $9.99, well worth the buy. Little known game to a lot of people. I stumbled across it on, I want to say, Humble Bundle about a year or two ago. Saw just the preview, and I thought it was going to be fun. Got it, and it's well worth it. So in conclusion, Blaze Rush, I highly recommend it. 
Anyways, guys, this is it for me. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please put down a like, a comment, and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified on whenever we upload new content. This is your captain speaking. Thanks for making it happen. Over and out. Uh -huh.